Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today we'll talk about virtual machine scale sets, which is also called as VMSS. I am Soumya Bhushan and we are learning Azure. So imagine you are running a website. At first, it's just you and your friends visiting the site. So everything works fine with just one computer or server running your website. But as your website gets more popular, more people start visiting. More visitors means more work for the server. And soon your website slows down or even crashes. To handle all those visitors, you need more servers, right? Here you can use VMSs, that is virtual machine skill sets. So it is like a group of identical computers working together to manage all your traffic. So when more people visit your website, VMSs can add more servers. And when fewer people visit, VMSs can remove some of those servers. In VMSs, there are, ge there are generally two types of orchestration modes. So the first one is known as uniform mode and the second one is flexible mode. Uniform orchestration is also known as classic mode of orchestration. Here all your VM instances in this scale set are identical and managed as a single unit. It is suitable for the application that requires a homogeneous environment or similar kind of environment, right? But flexible orchestration provides more flexibility and control over individual VM instances. It allows for variations in VM sizes, configurations, and even your operating system. Therefore, it is suitable for application with diverse requirements. Now, how does VMSS works? So first, you create a group of identical virtual machines or templates. These VMs are like copies of same machine. And then you set a rule for scaling. So for example, if CPU usage gets above 70%, add more VMs. So generally, there are three ways of scaling. The first one is manual scaling. So you can manually increase or decrease the number of VM instances by adjusting the setting in the Azure portal. Next is auto scaling. So you can auto scale your instances based on metrics. Azure automatically adjusts the number of VMs up or down based on real time performance metrics like CPU usage, memory, or custom metrics. It ensures that the right amount of resources are always available based on your demand. Next is auto scale based on defined schedule. So you can set a specific time like during business hours when Azure should automatically scale the VMs up or down. So it is beneficial when you can predict the traffic. So for example, on Black Friday or big billion sales, engineers know that the traffic will increase and they can use this way of scheduling. After that, once you set a rule of scaling, Azure automatically manages the VMs for you, right? And then you can also assign load balances to your VMs so that traffic can evenly distribute across all your servers. Now the next question arises, why should you use VMSs, right? So the first benefit is scalability. So VMSs can easily scale your application up or down based on demand, which ensures performance and cost effectiveness for your applications. Next is high availability. So VMSs can distribute VMs across availability zones or fault domains to ensure application resiliency and it also minimizes the downtime. Next is cost effectiveness. So VMSs can also optimize your resource utilization by automatically scaling up or down based on demand, which reduces a lot of unnecessary cost. So if you need to use only three VMs, then why pay for seven VMs, right? Next one is easy management. So you can centrally manage, configure and update your large number of VMs. It basically simplifies administration and reduces operational overhead. And other one is load balancing. So we have already talked about load balancing. You can just enable the load balancing using a checkbox. Next is integration with other Azure services. So you can integrate your VMSs with other Azure services like Azure Monitor, Azure Application Gateway, and many more. Let's see how we can create VMSs on Azure portal. So it's time for a demo. So this is our Azure portal. Here you can either search for virtual machine scale sets so you can see here is virtual machine scale sets or you can directly search VMSS right 
Now to create VMSs, just click on create. So currently we are using pay as you go subscription. You can select a resource group. If you don't have, you can create one. We are creating a resource group here. Let's name it as VMSS RG. Okay. Uh, virtual machine scale set name, name will be DevOps VMSS. Our region is East West. You can select other regions if you want. And then in availability zone, you can either select none or you can select any of these. Let's choose zone 3 and then move to orchestration mode. So we have flexible and uniform. Let's select uniform for now. We have already talked about security time in the VM video. You can check that video. In scaling mode, let's select manual for now. Currently, we are saying that we want only two instances or two VM machines in our virtual machine scale set. From here, you can select any other image if you want. Currently, I am selecting Ubuntu server. Now you can select any VM architecture and the size. So we are selecting standard B1S with one virtual CPU and one gigabyte of memory. So you can also enable hibernation, but hibernation doesn't support uniform orchestration mode. So you can either select flexible and then enable hibernation. Authentication type could be password or SSH public key. This is more secure. Let's select the authentication type as password for now because we have already seen the SSH public key in the VM video. Username could be Azure user or you can select any user. Let's select some other user this time. We are going to use DevOps user and the password could be anything. So you first need to pass the password here. So this is my password. You can confirm the password here. So yeah, it has been matched and then click on next. So here you can select the spot instances to save money, but it is not recommended for production workload. So let's move to the disk part. So here you can see the disk size, disk type, and also you can select the key management. We have talked about everything in the VM video. Again, I am saying if you haven't watched the VM, virtual machine video you, so you can first go and watch that video and then you'll be able to understand all these concepts right now if you want you can create and attach a new disk and then just click on network it's going to create a new network which is vmss rg vnet okay it is also creating a new nic for us you can also add extra nic but for now this is what we need from here, you can select load balancing options. So currently, let's go with Azure load balancer. Here it's saying that you can select if you have already one load balancer, but we don't have. So we can just click on create a load balancer and just pass the information about the load balancer here. You can just click on DevOps LB. We want it to be public. We are okay with that. If you don't understand this, so we'll have another video related to the networking. We'll discuss about these things. Okay. You can just click on create right now. And now click next. Management is okay. We don't need to do anything here. Similarly, we don't need to do anything related to health. Currently, we are not enabling any application health monitoring. We are good with that. And at the end, you can just go to the tax. I am creating this VMSS for dev environment, for dev application. So I have used this key value pair. And then you can just click on review and create. So you can check the basic informations again. Just click on create. So deployment is in progress. And from here, you can see few of the resources has already been created. It's currently trying to create the VMSS. So this has been completed. We can just simply go to the resource. So from here, you can see, uh, let's first go to the resource group. So from here, you, you can see we have created a virtual network. We have created VMSS, which is virtual machine scale sets. Then we have a public IP for our load balancer and we have a load balancer and a network security group, right? First, let's go to the VMSS. So from here, you can see all the information about your VMSS like which virtual network has been created, what is the public IP, what is the size of the instances that has been created, 
what is the status of those instances, the profile, everything about your virtual machine skill sets. From here you can see the status of your machine. If you we'll click on that, you can see two instances are running. So the name of your virtual machine skill set is DevOps BMSS. Similarly here, the index has been appended with your virtual machine names. So these are different virtual machines that has been created. You can even log into those machines. Now if we'll go to the availability plus scale, in the scaling section, you can see there are two options that we can use. So the first one is manual scale and the second one is custom auto scale. So in this video, we'll talk about manual scale and in the next video, we'll see how to do or how to enable custom auto scale, right? So that you can scale your application on any schedule or on any metrics. Now you can see the instance count is two. Now how does manual scale work? From here, you can change the number of your instances this on the basis of traffic or any other use case. Let's say currently I want four instances. Four has been selected and you can simply save it. So you can see from here, it is trying to update the resource instance count. That means it is trying to create new instances. If we'll go back to the instances and refresh this page, you can see it is trying to create two more VMs. Once it gets created, you can also decrease the number of VMs. So yeah, now you can see it has been refreshed and it is now running. So it has been succeeded. So now four VMs are running. If we'll go back to scaling and just decrease the count of those VMs. Once three has been selected here, you can just save it and go back to the instances and refresh this page again, you, you can see it is trying to delete those VMs. It, it can randomly delete any VMs because all those VMs are identical. So you can see from here, VMSS underscore one has been deleted. So in this way, you can manually scale your virtual machine count. Now, in this video, we have only talked about manual scaling. We'll be talking about auto scaling in the next video. For now, let's get back to the resource group. And don't forget to delete your instances once you have completed your demo. So for now, I am deleting the whole resource group. So just click on delete. So it will delete all the resources for me at once. So I am deleting the whole resource group. You can also go to a single instances or you can also go to the VMSS and delete just VMSS. So for safer side, we are deleting all the services that has been created with the virtual machine skill set. So you can see the resource has been deleted. So that was all for this video. If you like the video, then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.